ZTE Axon 7 Mini Screen Repair, Tear Down and Reassemble. Warning, you are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you will need a plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curve tweezers, precision knife set, multi-purpose heat gun, professional Phillips screwdriver, Power down your ZTE Axon 7 mini phone. Eject the SIM and micro SD card tray. Apply heat to the speaker grills located at the top and bottom of the ZTE smartphone. Insert the precision knife underneath the top grill and create enough space to fit a triangle tool. Work the triangle tool under the grill and remove it from the Axon 7 Mini. Now turn your attention to the speaker grill at the bottom of the device. Use the precision knife and triangle tool to extricate the grill. Peel up the strip of black mesh. Remove the falling six Phillips screws. Again, use a precision knife to create space and insert a triangle tool. Release the clips and pop the ZTE Axon 7 Mini out of its rear case. The fingerprint sensor cable and power and volume buttons cable are still connected to the motherboard, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Remove the following three Phillips screws. Extract the bracket. Disconnect the cables and separate the aluminum rear case from the phone. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Squeeze out the Axon 7 Mini Power and Volume Buttons cable from the side of the rear case. Spudge up the dual LED flash board. Detach the ZT Axon 7 Mini battery from the motherboard. The Axon 7 Mini battery is well wedged and adhered in place. Use the triangle tool to carefully free it from the adhesive, securing it to the midframe. Lift out the 2,705 mAh Axon 7 Mini battery. Disconnect the display cable, interconnect cable, and signal cable from the motherboard. Remove the following two Phillips screws. Carefully extract the Axon 7 Mini motherboard from the phone. Detach and remove the 8 megapixel Axon 7 Mini front facing selfie camera. Disconnect the 16 megapixel ZTE Axon 7 Mini rear facing camera from the motherboard. Pluck out the Axon 7 Mini earpiece speaker. Remove the loudspeaker from the midframe. Detach the coaxial cable. Remove the falling three Phillips screws and metal bracket. Disconnect the interconnect cable from the daughter board. Pry the Axon 7 mini vibrator up from the chassis, but do not remove it as it's soldered to the board. With minimal spudgering, the Axon 7 mini daughter board is free. It includes the Type-C USB port, vibrator, and microphone. 
Peel the Axon 7 mini interconnect cable and display cable up from the midframe. Begin to free the 5.2 Axon 7 mini display assembly by using a heat gun to soften the adhesive securing it to the midframe. Use a plastic triangle tool to attack the adhesive. Take your time and apply additional heat as needed. Once you've sliced through the adhesive, be mindful of the display cable when decoupling the ZTE Axon 7 mini screen from the midframe.
All the replacement parts and repair tools used in the video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.